Hey guys, Michael here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM on your MacBook Pro. Now, you're going to need a few things to do this. Uh, first of all, you're going to need your new RAM. In this case, I have a memory module kit from Crucial. This is a 4 gig kit with two with two, 2 gigabyte cards. That'll bring me from the stock 2 gigs up to 4 gigs. And I've been really noticing some situations, even just with web browsing, where I have, you know, 30 megabytes free which is telling me that the system needs more uh, available memory. You're also going to need some common sense <laughs> and uh, a small screwdriver. But of course, the main thing you're going to need is your MacBook Pro. So let's jump into the RAM upgrade. So first you want to flip your device onto a soft surface upside down, and then you want to pull these levers back to open up the battery. Let's just flip that around for easier usage. So, using your screwdriver, you can see that there are three screws. One, two, and three. But you're, you're going to need to remove those screws. While you unscrew these screws, you want to make sure you do it carefully, not to strip them. And also, you want to keep them in a safe place as to not lose them. So now this will open up. You can even take it out. And you see we have our two old pieces of RAM. So, you just move them like that. You should be able to nicely, safely, not in any rush, but to take out the RAM. It appears that this is a Samsung RAM. Once you get finished playing with these levers, the two uh, plugs where, it, where the RAM plugs in will pop up about 20 degrees. You'll be able to take out both pieces of memory. So now let's uh, go about installing our RAM. Here's one of my 2 gig crucial sticks. You want to put it in like that piecewise. And you want to push it in tight so that, that you feel like they're connected and then when you're done you should just be able to push it down. Same for the top piece. You just push it in, and then when it's done, push it down. Now you're going to want to close up your device by pretty much doing the same steps as we did before, backwards. And then just to finish the last screw, that's all you have to do. Now you want to put the battery back in, very carefully, of course. Put it in like that, it'll just drop in. And that's all the hardware installation you have to do. So now we're just going to boot up, boot the machine back up. For me, I'm going, I'm personally going to keep my uh, sticks of memory, the 2 gig stick, or the 2 1 gig sticks that uh, were included. Just because in case there is some problems with this RAM, I'll be able to have a backup situation for the sh short term. Just a note, when you're working with electronics, you always want to make sure that you get the static electricity off your hands just to not, just so you don't damage your equipment. And yes, I do have a lot of icons on my desktop right now. I'm a little bit messy and unorganized at the moment. If 
we go to about this Mac, as you can see, 4 gigs of RAM. So guys, it looks like I've installed my uh, RAM correctly. If you have any, if you need any help installing your RAM or uh, any other Mac tip or trick, feel free to send me an email at therevivedone at gmail.com. And speaking of The Revived One, I would appreciate it if you subscribed to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash one, And, you know, commented, rated, and favorited, if you want to, some of my videos. I'd really appreciate that, and it really makes making all these videos worthwhile. So, again, that's just a quick upgrade of the MacBook Pro's RAM from the stock 2 gigs to the 4 gigs of RAM that I got from Crucial. Thanks for watching, and take care, guys.